This made her feel a little bummed out, knowing that it was unlikely to meet any adventurer from a different country. Tanaka was curious how the other parts of the world were holding up in their new environment. Even if they didn't come from the same country, each of them was part of the human race. They held a connection to one another that would be even stronger now after so many deaths had occurred due to that night. Seeing that she was approaching the gate, Tanaka placed a hold on her thoughts. In front of her were people that were leaving the town and waving to the guards who took note of each person but not asking for any kind of identification. On the other side of the gate were wagons and individuals waiting in a line. Several guards were interviewing the people planning on heading into the town. Tanaka's eyes noticed that some of the people were moving through the gate faster compared to everyone else. When she walked closer, her eyes picked up the action of the individuals who raised an arm so that the guards could see an item on their wrist. One of the guards would wave a device over their wrist and it would glow with the same light as when her bracelet was scanned in the guild. The Adventurers Tanaka put the actions together, realizing the reason why the adventurers were allowed to pass through the gate, unlike the merchants and other individuals. That's pretty smart of the guild, Tanaka thought. If the guards have something to identify who is an adventurer, then it's easier to trust the person, knowing that the guild has likely vetted them. I haven't seen you before. A voice interrupted her thinking. Turning her head, Tanaka saw that one of the guards had approached her. The guards' eyebrows were drawn together. Tanaka's eyes caught that one of the hands of the guards was on the pommel of his sword. I'm an adventurer that just arrived in this town, Tanaka explained, sensing that the guard would understand why they hadn't seen her before until now. Hearing that she'd come from the guild, the guard's expression relaxed and he smiled. Well, that explains why I don't recognize you, he laughed, likely also relieved that Tanaka was just an adventurer. Pulling out a wand from his belt, the guard said, if you don't mind, could you raise up your wrist so I can scan your bracelet? Nodding, Tanaka lifted her wrist, showing the bracelet. Seeing the item, the guard was even more relaxed, as though the sight of it just further added weight to Tanaka's words. Though her explanation likely matched with what the guards knew about the guild, it was better to see evidence that added credibility to the words. As the wand got near the bracelet, there was a second of nothing happening. Then, a light glowed on the wand, like a rainbow of colors. As quickly as it came, it soon disappeared. Appreciate you cooperating. The guard smiled at Tanaka. Shaking her head slightly, Tanaka said, I understand. Leaving the town for a job? The guard asked. That's right. Tanaka nodded. I'm going to be hunting horned rabbits. Tanaka said, upon hearing that she'd be hunting rabbits, he nodded, as if this was a regular thing. Do you know where I can find them? She asked. The guild employee hadn't mentioned this part, and she didn't remember to ask them. Chuckling at Tanaka's question, the guard said, Those pests are everywhere. Outside the walls, it's pretty flat land and perfect for those annoying creatures. Then, they aren't difficult to hunt? Tanaka was grateful to know that the rabbits were easy to find. Hearing the guard's words made her think of the test simulation she'd been inside of where there was nothing but flat grasslands. Shaking his head while chuckling, Just be careful of standing from those pests. They may be pretty harmless, but that horn on their head and their speed can put a hole into you. The guard raised a hand to touch his forehead, driving in the point. 